Worst public bathroom experience? What's the story? I walked into a Costco bathroom and a dad was holding his baby over the sink while it was pooping straight into it. The color and smell is still haunting me. Someone must have told a security guard because as I was peeing someone came in and started yelling at the dad. I'm sorry you have to deal with the memory, but picturing it, it sounds hilarious. Thank you for your service. I was in a public bathroom at a petrol station just after coming back from an expedition. So I'm in there doing my business when suddenly I hear a very loud and almost cartoonish old man in the stall next to me just say Unaru and then proceed to repeat that over and over again Unaru. Ooh on you ooh. This happens for a few seconds and soon I hear another comical voice from outside their stall. Younger but still old and very nasally. Anyway he says Clarence are you okay and the man in the stall replies it's happening again. The guy outside replies oh god. Open up I'm coming into which I just continue to hear the two of them saying oh god as an awful smell starts to spread across the bathroom. I then got out as fast as I could. I hope the old guy was okay but I have to admit. The lack of context to their words and their weird almost cartoonish voices were hard not to chuckle at even a little. I'm assuming his colostomy bag had broken or something. That's quite the big assumption but I hope he was okay after. When I was about 9, making my sister about 5, we went to the museum with just my dad, and when me and her needed the toilet I insisted I was fine taking her in with me, so we went in the same cubicle, peed, tried to leave, and I couldn't unlock the door. It was this old fashioned latch thing which was both stiff as frick and sharp as a bastard. After cutting my hands to ribbons trying to fight it open, my sister's now sobbing hysterically because she thinks we're going to spend the rest of our lives in the toilet. My dad was low key panicking. Then I hear this woman talking to him, and she just sort of chuckles and says, no problem, I'll sort it out. I'm expecting her to go find someone to help, because there's no way this door can be opened from the outside. She tells us to stand as near the door as possible, then comes hurtling over the top of the cubicle wall. She managed to get a better grip on the lock, with her giant adult hands. She even waited with us while we washed our hands, then just skipped off into the distance as soon as we got back to our dad. Not insane but very true. I was on my way back from a big party in another state with a friend. Stopped at a gas station with a subway attached and ate. Immediately my guts go south. Men's room is taken. Ladies is empty. Nobody else in the place. So I decide to drop dark science in the ladies room no problem. I take one of the worst dumps of my life. It's no exaggeration. I destroyed that room. Then spent a while in there just getting myself back in real world shape. When I open the door, there are six women waiting to use it. In a panic my teenage brain doffed an imaginary hat said ladies and then hightailed it back to my table while whispering we gotta go. We jumped in the car and sped away. I feel bad for all those women who had to endure my shame. Doffed an imaginary hat, said ladies and then hightailed it back to my table. LOL frick me. 10 stroke 10 execution. I was working at Walmart a few years ago in the retail part of the pharmacy department. It was time for my break so I made my way to the back of the store to clock out and get my stuff. Right before the double doors to the back there was a trail of liquid crap. I grab a walkie and try and find our maintenance guy. Nope maintenance guy has gone home for the day so guess who gets to clean it? Yep yours truly. So I grab the mop and bucket and come back out, with full PPE on cuz you. I then start following the trail of crap. Someone literally was crapping themselves through the aisles it was crazy. They finally made their way to the women's restroom and crap all over the floor in the handicapped stall. Surprisingly enough the toilet was pristine. Just the floor was crappy. Finally after cleaning it and dumping the crappy water in the bucket and scrubbing my hands and arms I go to lunch. I come back an hour later and get yelled at by my manager for not cleaning it. And she had to stoop low and clean it herself. Heaven forbid. Um excuse you. I did. I had witnesses. Nope the person came back. Yeah I quit not long after that. I still wonder about that poop bandit. What was your goal? Are you okay? Have you been to the doctor? Frick that crap. Preface. Public bathrooms have always been an incredible source of anxiety for me. I've done a lot to get over it, but it still lingers. 
so I've always done anything and everything I can to avoid playing an away game. My brother and I used to have Flyers season tickets, so on nights we went together. We'd usually take the subway from his place out to the stadiums. One night, we hadn't made it too far into the first period when my stomach let out a groan like a dying orca simultaneously being dragged to the bottom of the sea. There was no way around it. I was probably not gonna survive this one. I turned to my brother and said we gotta go. My brother and I walked back to the train. All the while, I felt like I was being repeatedly stabbed in the gut. Pinching. Sweating. Lamar's breathing. We got to the train. But because they tend to be lightly populated at that station when the game is going on. The trains only run every 20 minutes or so. I was fighting back tears just trying to hold this monster tsunami on the empty, unmoving train when everything made a fast move for the exit. I turned to my brother, said I'm sorry and booked it off the train right before the doors closed. I ran back up the stairs where two Philly cops were manning the turnstiles. Officer, you gotta help me they were immediately thrown off guard and took some defensive body positioning because of the speed at which I ran to them. We locked eyes. I got a crap so bad and I'm not gonna make it. There was this pregnant pause between the two of us. And in that moment he saw the absolute desperation in my eyes. Come with me. He led me to some secret, employee only bathroom he had to unlock from his seemingly endless set of janitor keys. He opened the door to this dungeon-esque, drippy toilet room that had seen ages of Scepter employees wrecking house on it. But I didn't care. I spent the next 30 minutes unleashing heck in this bathroom while the cops stood outside and listened to the miserable cacophony from within. When I finished, I came outside to see my brother and the cop almost in tears from laughing so hard at my misfortune. But that officer was an absolute bro in that moment. I'm forever grateful. You're really good at telling stories. Really enjoyed reading this. I was on a plane. As we were boarding I realized I needed the toilet. It felt I could hold it until we'd taken off because the aisles were busy and I didn't want to have to get in people's way to go to the toilet. Anxiety is fun, anyway. Takeoff took longer than expected and by that time I was really clenching and the... We took off and... Turns out it's really hard to hold in a crap taking off in a freaking plane and I crap myself. Made it to the toilet as quickly as I could and god help me it ended up everywhere. Spent ages cleaning up and then had to dispose of my underwear and spend the rest of the flight going commando. That was a roller coaster of a story. Thanks for sharing. Was pooping in peace. Then someone entered and went to next store me being quiet meant they could unleash their explosive crap song without worry well after his crap show he left without washing hands and he even turned off the lights so I had to shout at him to turn on the lights which was probably embarrassing for both of us. Walked into a gas station bathroom just outside Pittsburgh and was greeted by a man who hung himself with an electrical cord. If that wasn't bad enough, Monroeville PD held me for questioning. I didn't get to take a leak, obviously, and when I asked about using the women's room because I was at max capacity, they looked at me like I was a freak. I finally got to run into the ladies room to pee, but the cop followed me in and watched me. I'm fairly sure being from out of state did not help me. Must have been dying for a crap. One night, some friends and I decided to go do some truly heroic drinking. We got absolutely destroyed. Easily one of my top 5 drunkest nights. Next day rolls around. I'm apocalyptically hungover. And that includes the beer shoots. A friend of mine wants to go get lunch at McDonald's and stop at Walmart. Okay. No problem. I can survive that. Some food might even help. We go to Walmart first. Mercifully. Then to McDonald's. I didn't eat much. Only a little. That little amount though about destroyed me. We get in the car and go not even a quarter mile when I hear it. The sound your guy makes that tells you you have about 30 seconds to find a toilet or else you're going to unleash butt mud all over your pants. Right down the street from McDonald's is also a Burger King. It's on the way back to our dorm rooms. I tell my friend to pull into Burger King. He does. I waddle in and shoot straight down the hall to the bathroom. Fortunately the one toilet is not occupied and clean even. I get in there and unleash on that toilet. It was so bad. I felt I should apologize to the toilet. Then the stench hit. It was horrible. Made my eyes water. Just then I hear someone walk in to pee. While I can hear them peeing in the urinal. 
I hear them start to cry. Then I heard a little kid start saying through the tears it smells. It smells so bad he runs out as soon as he's done. I embarrassedly sneak out into the parking lot. Never to be seen again. TL. DR. Took a hungover crap in a Burger King bathroom that smelled so bad it made a little kid cry. I crap you not imagining a little kid crying and saying it stinks. It stinks so bad because you took a colossal crap has me over here freaking dry heaving from laughing at this for too long. Eating breakfast at a truck stop with two co-workers. Went to the bathroom to drop a deuce. Five minutes goes by and someone walks in. Knocks on my door and asks, you want some company in there it sounded like one of my co-workers so I laughed it off. Finished my business. Opened the door and the 6.5 tall 300 pounds man in camo was standing there. I am also a 6.5 ish tall 240 pounds man. I mumbled out a, a, nor I'm good, and walked out. He returned to the restaurant a few minutes after me and my co-workers said he keeps staring at me. Eek. I wonder if at some point somebody in the past went sure and opened the door. So dude thought he'd try that strategy again. This happened at Costco, as I walked up to a urinal. I remembered a funny story my friend shared with me and I start laughing. Hard, there I am, in the Costco restroom, taking a pee, and having a hearty laugh. Someone walks in and uses another urinal and I do my absolute best to hold in my laughter so I don't look like a weirdo. I failed. I let out a huge guffaw probably about the same time the guy pulls out his dong to take a pee. I'm absolutely lost in laughter at this point and all I hear is what the frick is your problem I hear him walk out. And I just let it all out. Pee and laughter. Until it was all gone. When I walked out, I was confronted by two of the store managers. Apparently, the guy I laughed at complained that I was harassing him in the restroom and I was being asked to leave the store. I was so confused, but later realized that the guy probably thought I was laughing at him. Sorry guy. It didn't turn into a big issue though. Went back the next day and bought the eggs and bacon I needed in bulk. Vietnam. Decided to visit what we thought was a well-known tourist attraction. Turned out to be a very small town that westerners rarely visited. Needed to use the train station toilet. It was basically a concrete bunker with no lighting. It was also a squat toilet. That is, a hole in the ground which was hidden in the darkness. I had a splitting headache due to antimalarial medication. Walked head first into a concrete bulkhead which was too high to bother locals but perfectly placed for 6 feet 1 inches westerners. Trod through human feces and shat into what I believe was the designated hole in the ground. Your own personal Vietnam. When I was still in high school, was at the urinal when my maths teacher came in and stood beside me. You know your homework is a week late. You'll have it Monday. Thanks walks out. One time I walked into the bathroom at my small parochial high school, and my math, s, teacher was on the john. This was an ancient bathroom with no doors on the stalls. The math teacher bent his upper body over like he was trying to hide his privates from me. I nope the heck out of there. Can't remember if I took the pee I had planned to take. Walked in someone having a wank, in the work toilet. He didn't even lock the door. He just stared at me like I was in the wrong. Mine was in a Walmart bathroom, I was taking a poop and someone walks into the stall next to mine and proceeds to have the smelliest, loudest, most foul poop I have ever experienced. I had to hold and vomit the entire time while I wiped, and to make it worse, my side of things weren't exactly pleasant. Only reason I use public bathrooms is if I really have no choice. I always have to try not to laugh whenever someone makes loud farting noises when pooping. Nine years old at the McDonald's right before the Sagamo Bridge leading to Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I went in the smaller stall. Someone was in the handicap one. I was dropping a poop and the guy next to me must have exploded. The sound of crap exiting his butthole will stick with me for the rest of my life. I could hear the toilet bowl rattling. The guy was grunting in agony and it lasted for like 30 seconds straight. The smell will stick with me forever too. I was 9 years old with my pants down in a small bathroom stall puking. I managed to only get some on my shoes and a little on my pants but I was so disoriented and dizzy. I managed to wipe up and walk outside. 
My parents were waiting in line and we ordered. I got some chicken nuggets and fries and after a couple of bites my stomach turned again. My dad took me to the bathroom and then I had to see the aftermath of what had happened earlier. I saw it for only a few seconds but I could draw the scene pretty accurately even after all these years. The toilet bowl was completely filled, with an overflowing pile and soft serve log leaning off the front left side of the bowl. There was spatter all over the ground, lever and wall behind the toilet. There was crap covered toilet paper wads all over the ground. We both turned around immediately and puked on our way out of the bathroom. There were probably 20 other people inside. I was so embarrassed. The guy had left but I was worried people were going to think it was me. I remember being so stressed and just crying. I wonder what happened to that guy. I hope he got everything checked out. Thank you for the specific placement of this McDonald's. So I know never to use a bathroom there. I was in a pub. Walked into the toilets and there was crap everywhere. Go to walk out but realize there is a urinal free. There were three in a row and one guy was was already using the one on the right so naturally I went on the full left. I begin to pee and then all of a sudden this drunk old man staggers in. Sees the free urinal and shouts. In the middle. Same situation but the guy who walked in strides up to the middle urinal and says sorry boys I'll have to split the defense. It was actually in my middle school bathroom. It was 8th grade. I walked in the bathroom with my friend. And then. The smell. We weren't quite sure what it was. It smelled bad. Real bad. He then opened a stall to unveil what looked like a little fecal explosion all over the wall behind the toilet. Straight up to the ceiling. I'm talking projectile diarrhea here. The spatter pattern looked absolutely volatile. I could only imagine the pain of the poor soul that shattered out. He had to have ripped his anus apart from it. Had the crap been blood, it genuinely would have looked like someone blew their brains out with a shotgun. I was in Walmart one day running errands, and I had to get some keys made. I had been up for almost 24 hours and I just realized I hadn't been to the bathroom all day. I started to have that time to crap feeling, but I thought I'm a champ I have a tight butthole. I can hold it. As I'm getting the keys made I realize I can no longer hold it. I ask the lady making the keys how long it's going to take, and she says a few minutes. So I tell her to just hold on to the keys and try to walk as fast as I can to the bathroom. The closer I get to the bathroom the worse it gets. So I start running. When I get to the door I pull it open and there's a guy standing there trying to get out. At this point I can barely hold it. So I just shove the guy aside and run in. As soon as I get in I do a quick examination of the room and calculate my best route to the toilet. There are two stalls the closer one. A regular stall. And the farther one. A bigger handicap stall. I don't want to be a dong. So I run for the regular stall. Also it's very slightly closer. I get in the stall and shut the door then go to lock it. That's when I realize there is no lock. Oh no it's too late the crap is coming. I immediately run to the other stall. But the it's too late. I start crapping my pants. It's completely liquid and splatters everywhere. It's all over my boxers. My shorts. My flip flops. The floor. And my legs. So I'm sitting on a toilet seat that's covered in crap. While my legs are covered in crap. Trying to be as silent as possible because I'm self conscious about using public restrooms. By the time I'm done the crap is dry. So I do my best to wipe it all up with toilet paper. I get it as best as I can. But there is still crap everywhere. The floors I'm not too worried they will just have to be mopped. But I have to wash my legs and feet. So I decided I have to wash myself off in the bathroom sink. I ran over to the sink covered my boxes and soap and started washing them as fast as I could. This was one of those sinks that only produced water for like a second before shutting off so it was extremely frustrating. The whole situation was like a survival horror video game. I was terrified. I would wash a little. Then run back to the stall for safety and repeat. I did this until I was completely washed up body included. Finally as I get done some guy walks in the bathroom straight into the stall I used and just shouts oh my god. I say yeah dude I wouldn't go in there if I were you and leave. Thank god it was raining that day, or I would have looked really suspicious walking around Walmart soaking wet. It's a Walmart. You can walk around with shit stained pants and look normal. Not a horrible experience, but odd. I was taking a pee at the urinal when the voice of a co-worker in the stall next to me said. 
Hey. Nice stream I could not respond. I often wonder if he really meant to say that out loud. I could never look at him the same way again in the halls. WTF. As someone with a weak stream, I'm totes jelly. I had to clean up some chicks poopy thongs and subsequent loose crap from a stall when I worked at Bob Evans. I got a free meal for cleaning though, so I guess I have that going for me. Also, in general I have found women's rooms to be much more disgusting and dirty than men's rooms. First year of college I lived in an all girls dorm where the entire building had one big shared bathroom. Once a month the phantom splasher would strike. Bloody handprints in the stall. Streaks all over the floor. Big bloody globs in the shower stalls. For a week straight it looked like Freddy Krueger got in a fight with a gorilla. It was gross as heck and we never figured out who the gore culprit was or why they didn't know flushing tampon was a bad idea. This one time I had a lot of spicy Indian food or as we call it here in India food and it messed up my stomach and I ended up being stuck in the toilet for almost 30 minutes while the guy next to my stall was singing songs. You should have sang along. Walks into a cubicle and I saw to two males having intercourse with each other, definitely an experience I'll never forget. I was 7 years old at the time. Once I was 7 years old. Saw my first ever uncircumcised penis. My mom took me and brother on a road trip to Pennsylvania and New York when I was 6 while she contemplated divorcing my dad. She didn't. I swam in Lake Erie. It was cold. Saw the battleship Niagara. Don't give up the ship. And we to raid Niagara Falls. On the Canadian side. I had to pee. Bad. I'm the only one in the bathroom. Until the Mountie steps up to the urinal next to me. He whips out this massive uncut dong. I mean, this thing is easily the size of my arm. I'm standing there, my peanut flapping in the wind, as I stare slack jawed and horrified at this monster while the slides the foreskin back and unleashes a torrent of pee. He notices kinda hard not to at this point, chuckles, and says like what you see, hey, yours ain't so bad either, and winked. We finished up, washed our hands, and left. I told my brother that guy has a really big wiener, and it looked weird. He just told me that was gross and not to look at guys wieners in the bathroom. And that's how I discovered uncircumcised dongs. Jeez. Canadians are so polite. The worst experience was in a large public bathroom at night. The one other guy that was in there hit the light switch as he left. Leaving me in a pitch black stall with no light whatsoever in the room. I had to feel my way out. Brushing against a long row of fixtures before finally finding the door. Not only was it creepy, but I wasn't totally certain the guy had actually left the room and that he might be lurking in the dark for me. Mine happened yesterday. Not quite a public bathroom, but kinda. So I'm remodeling my house now. There are no walls inside or out so everything is open and visible to all my neighbors and anyone walking by. No toilet at the moment and I had a crap coming on with zero warning. I absolutely couldn't wait so I quickly throw up a couple sheets of plywood for cover, grab tissues out of my car and go to business. As soon as I squat down the contractor for my shower shows up an hour early for an estimate. I pretend I'm not home but he starts walking around the property looking for me. Not sure what to do because I'm still pooping at this point and he is getting closer to finding me. Just before he reaches me I call out just a moment which also scares the crap out of him. I did tell him what I was doing so he continues to walk toward me while asking me what I'm doing. All of this is in Japanese by the way and my Japanese is terrible enough to make the situation even more terrible. Finally I tell him I'm pooping and he just stood there in silence, facing my direction, waiting for me to finish. Certainly my most embarrassing moment ever I do believe. Elementary school. I took a fat one in the class bathroom, and the school toilet wasn't powerful enough to take it under. With every flush, it rotated counterclockwise around the bowl, mocking me. After a panic I told my teacher, Mr. Motes, my poop won't go down. It's, it's too big. My teacher calls the janitor, and he stays at the scene of the crime for at least 5 entire minutes. Poor man probably had to use the end of his mop to break it down. If only he had a poop knife. Needless to say, I never went into a school again without my pocket poop knife. I used to work at a pet hospital full time but this story isn't about animal poop. One particularly busy afternoon, 
A lot of people at the counter stopping to pick up meds, waiting to be checked out, etc. An older lady comes in and asks if she can use our bathroom. I typically don't let just anyone use our bathrooms because people are always weird in them but I was too busy to explain and just told her where it was. The bathroom door is visible from the front desk and I watch the lady go in. I notice she doesn't close the door all the way as I am hearing an awful sound but again I was too busy and moved on. Never saw the lady come out. Didn't really think about it again. Fast forward a couple hours my shift is over and I decide to use the bathroom and change my clothes before leaving. The employee bathroom is in use so I go back up to the public restroom which I suppose hadn't been touched since the older lady had used it. I open the door and there is crap smeared all over the floor, all over the toilet, and all over the sink. I look behind me and notice none of my co-workers are at the front desk and highly consider leaving and acting like I didn't see it. My guilty conscience gets the better of me and I end up cleaning it. There were dirty paper towels and toilet paper in the waste basket that were also covered in crap. I wish I could describe better how much poop this woman released from her body and how much of it was all over the bathroom. I swear I even found some on the mirror. I still shudder when I go into that bathroom. A couple months later I won employee of the month. My friend gave my manager the picture she took of me mopping up this mess as the picture for them to use for employee of the month. Cleaning up other people's poop. That isn't in the job description. You deserve employee of the month. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.